is me against the world, but I can give a who my opponent is. I came here to train it. Speak my belief, now they call it dangerous. Taking a throne and I'm going to maintain it. I got to go down to just one of the places. Takes flying. Go down. Yo, clear the deck. Deck cleared. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Commissioner Adam Silver is looking to begin a new tradition, the in-season tournament. He said, quote, in other sports, there are events along the way where there's an extra boost of competitiveness around winning a particular trophy. That's what we're looking at. Brian, they want to fire up the players and the fans. Sounds fun, Allie. Thanks for that. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Luka Doncic. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. So the opening lineup for the Mavericks. Doncic and Hardaway Jr. man the backcourt. Maxi Kleba out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's McGee in at the center position. And for the Kings. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Mitchell and Monk there, the backcourt. And it's Barnes in at the three. Yeah, the shocker of the 2022 trade deadline. A deal centered around DeMontis Sabonis going to Sacramento and Tyrese Halliburton sent to Indy. Now here's Mitchell. Murray, a screen on Doncic. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Sabonis. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. That blockbuster Sabonis Halliburton trade. What do you make of it for the Kings? Well, you know, B.A., Sacramento was a guard heavy team. Sabonis adds size. He also adds playmaking, and I love his motor. I think it was a move to even out their roster. Here's Monk. Dodges for the block. Right side, Hardaway. Shoots over Monk. Here's McGee. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. Monk passes to Mitchell. We played just over a minute here in the first. McGee with a steal. It's Bullock on the wing. He's guarded by Barnes. Pass to Hardaway. The three. The rebound by Murray. Outside Monk. Outside Mitchell. Let's the three fly. No luck on that one. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. Now here's Mitchell. 11 points for him last game against Dallas. And what a wrecking ball defensively. Seen by the four steals he had in that game. Here's Bullock. It's a three-point game. Pass to Doncic. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Sabonis. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Mitchell, the pass to Monk. Six to shoot. Picked by Sabonis. Inside. And Sabonis slams it in. Well, so intelligent at recognizing where to roll to open space. DeMontis Sabonis, very crafty. Here's Hardaway. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Sacramento. And he was aggressive in how he played on the defensive side of the floor, notching three steals on the game. Here's Mitchell. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Outside Monk. Jacks up a three. Mavericks with a rebound. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable
capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Now here's Mitchell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Sabonis. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Well, Sabonis able to finish on the interior. That's pretty. Dallas has gone one of four from deep. And here's Hardaway. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Bullock. Good. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Boy, talk to any former teammate and coach, past or present. Anybody who's played or worked with Reggie Bullock has nothing but positive things to say. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. And they doubled up Doncic. For three, Hardaway. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. And with Bullock, he's a player that genuinely puts his team first, Doris. One of those guys, B.A., that does not care if he's starting, if you put him off the bench, Bullock is going to play with energy defensively. He's going to knock down three-point shots. And he's going to space the floor for the star player. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Here's Bullock. He's guarded by Barnes. And here's Doncic outside. Another three for Dallas. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Now here's Mitchell. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Dallas. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Boy, guys, with that appearance in the Western Conference Finals, it certainly feels like the Dallas Mavericks took a huge step forward. They played to their strengths. Obviously, the axis is Luka Doncic and his incredible skill set. Now here's Finney Smith. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Wood outside. Pass to Doncic. Offline with a three. Sacramento has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Right. It almost seems like last year we were seeing the team Dallas had been waiting for, Doris. It seems, B.A., they finally figured out what pieces need to be fit around Luka Doncic. Obviously, you need high-caliber shooting across positions. The one thing I think they need to continue thinking about is that rim protector and vertical threat. Willing passers, unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Here's Doncic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Terrence Davis. Well, watching Luka Doncic, you see someone who has got extraordinary feel for the game of basketball. Knows when to score it, knows when to pass it. His vision and his big-time shot-making are all incredible. One falls for him. The middle part of the season can present some unique challenges. Grant, how do you maintain your focus as a player? Well, it can be tough. It can be really challenging because it is such a long season. You ultimately have to keep your eyes on the prize. And of course, veterans know hard work now pays off later. You want to protect your record and start building late season momentum. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Holmes, a screen on Doncic. Mitchell, the pass to Holmes. And taking a look at our 2K leaderboard, the best ball distributors amongst point guards. Number one, Luka Doncic. And when you're a point guard, you always want to be in this position, leading the league in assists. You just know his teammates love playing with him.
First free throw is good. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Yeah, and Christian Wood moving here to the Mavs over the summer. Now, the Mavs knew they wanted more size, so they sent a number of players in exchange, but they got a deadly weapon to help them this season. Throws it up high, and Powell with the stuff. Outstanding timing from Powell. Rises up for the forceful alley-oop. The Kings have gotten five of 11 shots to go. Mitchell against Doncic. Mitchell, the pass to Holmes. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. Showing great poise. Passes up his own shot for something better. Pass to Powell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. This is a smart kid who works hard, right? I mean, Powell draws the foul, gets to the line. Nicely done, young man. And seems hard to believe, but it's been almost 40 years since the Kings moved to Sacramento. And you know, maybe they haven't hung any banners, but they've had some special players and some great seasons in that time. And they mean a lot to that community. The first free throw is good. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. And so Powell nails them both. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And Dallas calls time here. Finds Dinwiddie. The shot misses. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Davis against Doncic. 
Outside for Mitchell. Takes the three. It's not going to go for him. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a river. Wood outside. It's Powell on the wing. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point range. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. The Kings making a switch here. Lens checked in. The Kings trailing. Outside Mitchell. Outside Davis. And it's off from three-point range. Boy, a wide-open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Back to Doncic. Over Mitchell. Dallas again missing. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Pass to Davis. One fourteen left to play in the first quarter. Knocked away. Dinwiddie with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Dinwiddie, right side. Here's Wood. Doncic outside. Five to shoot. This one for three. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Davis against Dinwiddie. Outside Barnes. There's a screen by Lynn. Tipped. Powell is exceptional at timing for blocks. Rises up and sends it back. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Terrence Davis. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Spencer Dinwiddie at the line for two. Drops the first. Some changes for Sacramento. Metu, he's checked in for Lyles. Murray comes in for Barnes. And it's Monk in for Davis. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. And here in the first, they really are hitting their free throws. Outside Mitchell. Murray, a screen on Doncic. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Well, guys, we've seen a confident-looking Mavericks team out there. Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second-chance touches. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. And the Mavericks with possession here. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Minnesota will be traveling to face him after this game. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. On the court right now for Dallas. Christian Wood out there with Maxi Kleba. Then it's Reggie Bullock. Then it's Tim Hardaway. And it's Dinwiddie in at the one. 
and just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Demontis Sabonis has filled out his frame, and if you need some physicality around the rim, this guy is willing to do it. And their number four overall pick, Keegan Murray, making a quick impact. One of the most efficient players in college basketball at Iowa last year. He went on to win MVP of the 2K23 Summer League. Can he become a rising star for the Kings? It'll be fun to watch. Davis, he's checked in for Mitchell. McGee, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And it's Sacramento's ball. Trailing by 13. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. And they want to avoid getting in foul trouble again. That's what really hurt them against this team last time. You know, there's a balance between that aggression and overdoing it. You can't reach in. These are things officials are looking to call. Now here's Dinwiddie. Checking the numbers. He's averaging close to 15 a game. Outside Davis. Second quarter basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Outside Monk, fires the three. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now here's Dinwiddie. Outside Hardaway, three-pointer. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Mavericks lead by 15. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. The Mavericks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Dinwiddie against Monk. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And when you're trying to slow down a top scorer, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. And the first one at the line is good. Holmes, he's checked in for the Kings. Free throws good from Davis. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives them a chance to do just that, Alan. Thank you. Now here's McGee. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Kings in Sacramento. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Here's Davis. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. Monk passes to Sabonis. Outside Murray. Monk finds Davis. Here's Sabonis. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Outside Hardaway. The three. The rebound by Murray. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. The Mavericks have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Dinwiddie. 
Let's it fly. Misses off the right iron. The Kings shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. And Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter, Greg. Yeah, B.A., I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point. But he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. Two on the clock. Up for three. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. All right, let's take a quick look at the rookie leaderboards and see which young players had the best block numbers last month. Well, you look at Murray, a force on the defensive end, third in the league in block shots. His defensive anticipation is just excellent. He changes as many shots as he swats. And Dallas calls time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. here for the Kings. Miles comes in for Demonis Sabonis. And it's Barnes in for Murray. Checked by Davis. Oh, they need this! Kleba's shot is off. The Kings shooting just around 32% from the field. To the paint. And Davis slams it home! And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. First one falls, and the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Woods checked in for Kleba. Doncic hits them both. Monk with it. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Lyles a screen from downtown. And it's Malik Monk with the three. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Here's Bullock. 14 points for him last game against Sacramento. Pass to finish Smith. 
one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists now in this one. Uh, Dorian Finney-Smith using that athleticism, the size, the length, the rim touch to go through contact. Nicely done. Now here's Holmes. He's got five. Davis, the pass to Holmes. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. Doncic has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Bullock. Monk covers. Doncic outside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Doncic has got 19 points. Well, we're talking about one of the league's best scorers, and the confidence Luka Doncic has in himself to take over is readily on display. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And here are the Kings now. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. Reggie Bullock. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Terrence Davis. Two shots. He makes a first. They found their rhythm at the free throw line this quarter, trying hard to make up ground. Lenz checked in for the Kings. Mitchell comes in for Monk. Both free throws good from Davis. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Doncic is double. Pass to Wood. It's Bullock on the wing. Now Doncic. Back to Wood. Down to five on the shot clock. Doncic outside. And Mitchell over to help. Here's Penny Smith. That three's off the mark. Well, the Kings shooting just 27% in the second quarter. Barnes against Doncic. Barnes passes to Davis. Now Mitchell, looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Late clock here, the Kings need to get one up. Lynn can't hit. Dallas has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Wood outside, pass to Doncic. Here's Bullock, back to Doncic. Oh, Doncic hammers one home. How about the finish from Luka Doncic? My goodness, go ahead with the hammer. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Sacramento shooting at about 34% here in this game. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And with the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there.
taking a look at the last 10 games. Here are the players who have been flat out dominant scoring the ball and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. Second, Luka Doncic. He's been on an absolute tear offensively. He's found something that's working for him and he's sticking to it. So it's Sacramento now. It's a 14 point game. To the left side wing. Here's Lynn. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Six on the shot clock. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Well, this is what you want to do on the screen and roll. Barnes on time and on point with that pass. Pass to Doncic. Back to Bullock. There's the three. Can't get it to drop. And it's the Kings with the ball. Down by 12. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Outside Barnes. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. This guy, not an easy guy to rattle. Barnes finishing through contact for the plus one. You know, back in 2010, Harrison Barnes was the top recruit in the country out of high school grade. Yeah, and interestingly, Barnes decided to play two seasons at North Carolina. Unheard of these days for someone with Harrison's pedigree. Metu, he's checked in for Lyles. A really solid free throw shooter. The team would like to see Barnes get to that line more often. Doncic passes to Wood. To the inside. And Wood with the stuff. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Outside Mitchell. 50 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Outside Davis. Left side Barnes. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. Dallas shooting at about 44% so far. From deep, here's Doncic. Sacramento grabs the miss. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? Davis from long range. Knocks it down from distance. Davis has got nine points in the quarter. Now here's Doncic. It'll count. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Dallas finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead, just pounding the painted area. That's helped to build an advantage. Back to the game after this break.
and welcome to what a first half for cool hand Luka, Luka Doncic. Fantastic three-point shooting from him, stretching out the defense. I had a couple of games like that myself, Jack. It's fun, man. Believe me, Jack, it's fun. First of all, you don't know my real last name. It's Onilovich. If I wanted to be a three-point shooter, I would have been. And now we can look at the latest power rankings. And again, don't stare directly at them like an eclipse. Just take a glance. Let's see who's on top. A look here now at the Mavericks. They are still the top team, but a small downgrade in the rank. No cause for alarm. A lot of games left to play. So you're saying no need for the panic button or the panic room? Just stay chill? Am I close? Yep. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. Mitchell and Monk there the backboard. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. And it's Barnes in at the three. That's the five out there for the Kings. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Monk. Sabonis with a screen on Hardaway. Monk played it in with a nice touch off the window. Monk's got his second basket on the night. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Doncic, good. Well, Luka Doncic, because he understands windows of opportunity, has the footwork and the change of pace, the drive is easy for the Don. Now here's Barnes. Back to Mitchell. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got his third assist of the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Doncic. They've got a nine-point lead. A nice shot by McGee. McGee's got six. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Pass to Mitchell. And here's Sabonis, covered by McGee. Doncic against Mitchell. It's Bullock on the wing. And the Mavericks, another three! They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. And here's Mitchell. He's got five. Monk passes to Sabonis. Outside for Mitchell. Outside Monk. Fires the three. Another three for Sacramento. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, the Kings made a big trade last season to acquire all-star Demontis Sabonis. It's clear they want a break from their lead long playoff drought, and they're hoping he can help them do it. He said, quote, it's exciting. I want to be here. We're going to fight and get wins. Back to you. Yeah, they're all in, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Monk. Give him eight points now. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Monk. And let's take a moment to call out some of the top defenders in the rookie class. Well, you look at Murray, fifth in the NBA, a pest on defense. You just love the effort he puts in on defense. Rare to see a rookie who can disrupt offenses like him. For Dallas, they've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Hardaway with it. Pass to Bullock. Fires from deep. That one doesn't drop. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Oh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled 9 of 15 so far. Uh, 6'7", 230 pounds. Luka Doncic is a load in the painted area. Mitchell against Doncic. Sabonis with a screen on Doncic. Mitchell. And a foul called on the way up. 
So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Doncic. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell entered the league as one of the best on the ball defenders out there. And he knocks down the first one. And no doubt, Davion Mitchell is an elite defensive guard. Why is that, Grant? Well, B.A., despite standing six feet, he's got a 6'5 wingspan. Mitchell is really strong and quick. But the biggest thing, Davion never takes a possession off. The Kings making a switch here. Holmes is checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Denwitty's checked in. Both free throws good for Mitchell. For Dallas, they've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Doncic passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Doncic. And he lobs it up. And McGee with the stuff. Yeah, because Luka Doncic is such a threat to score it, it opens up the passing game. And boy, it is on display right now. Now here's Mitchell. Seven points in the game. To the middle. Here's Sabonis. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Sabonis has got 10. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Doncic outside. The shot won't fall. Excellent D there from Holmes. Sacramento has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Outside Monk. Back to Mitchell. Over Doncic. Mitchell misses. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. 4-3. And it's Doncic missing. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Down low. And there's Sabonis. That one's good. On the assist by Monk. Sabonis has got four points this quarter. Now Dinwiddie. Doncic outside. Shoots over Holmes. And Holmes with the block. Here's Mitchell. Outside Monk. Over to the wing. Kleba against Holmes. Just five to shoot. Here's Murray. A good looking shot from the wing. Murray's got his first bucket in this one. Dallas has gone two for five from three since halftime. Timeout on the floor. Mavericks. Murray can score in a multitude of ways, Grant. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. I mean, he can feast from the post, the mid range, and the three point line as well. He always plays under control at his own pace. And that's why he looks so fluid out there on the floor. Changes for Sacramento. Lyles, he's checked in for Sabonis. And it's Davis in for Monk.
Dinwiddie outside. Back to Wood. Clock at six. Off the mark, and the drought continues. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Pass to Mitchell. And he lobs it up top. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. They closed the gap over the last few possessions. But can they push through and grab the lead? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. Now here's Hardaway. Here's Finney Smith. No good from outside. The Kings have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. Outside Murray. Inside. Pass to Holmes. Now here's Davis. From deep, Mitchell. They get the rebound. Holmes, good. And now just a three-point Dallas lead. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Mitchell against Dinwiddie to the middle. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Here's the three. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got rebound number five here tonight. Now here's Holmes. Nine points in the game. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Dallas calls timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. making a change here. Lens checked in. Let's take a second to see which teams have been hitting the glass with a fury this season. The Mavericks, number one. And I love how active they all are on the glass. When a shot goes up, this team takes a gang rebounding approach to tracking down their boards. Sacramento on D. It's a one-point game. Pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Hardaway. Here's Wood. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Mavericks? Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. The other thing that's been impressive is really just relentless driving the basketball. Doesn't matter if the defense is there. They are challenging them and getting it done. He misses the free throw.
He hits the second from the line. Here's Davis. He's got 11. Lyles a screen. For the lead. And Davis is good for three. Davis has got 14. And since the break, they have looked like a completely different team, especially on offense, where they're really cooking right now. Now here's Dinwiddie. Outside Hardaway. Puts up a three. Hauled in by the Kings. Murray's got four rebounds now. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Pass to Lynn. Here's Lyles. Another three for Sacramento. And a nice bump for their offense this half. Now shooting over 50% for the game. Outside Hardaway. Back to Dinwiddie. Hardaway against Davis. Launches a three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Murray's got his fifth rebound of this one. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Lyles. Shot clock at six. Off target from outside. And here's Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway. Back to Finney Smith. Out of bounds. It'll be King's ball. Some changes for Sacramento. Metu comes in for Lyles. And it's Barnes in for Murray. And Dallas with a change here too. Bullock, he's checked in for Hardaway. The Kings leading. Mitchell with the ball. He's got seven. To the paint. Here's Metu. Basket's good. I'll tell you, they come out of the locker room. They are a step slow on the defensive end. They haven't looked like themselves the last few possessions. They haven't. This is when they really need to be patient and get a clean look. Now Dinwiddie. From deep. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's Sacramento with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We'll be right back with you shortly. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the court right now for the Mavericks. Manning the backboard, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Maxi Kleba out there with Christian Wood. And it's Bullock in at the three. Outside Barnes. There's a screen by Metu. Barnes with it, guarded by Kleba. Three on the clock. Barnes, no good. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Doncic. And there's the call on Christian Wood. That'll be a second foul of the game. Holmes, he's checked in for Metu. And Dallas with a change here, too. McGee's checked in. Well, the Kings shooting efficiently. 50% so far. Doncic against Davis. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Monk passes to Davis. Fires for three. The shot comes out. And the Mavericks go on the other way now. Here's Dinwiddie. 
Doncic outside from deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got six rebounds now in the game. Outside Monk, pass to Barnes. Sabonis outside. Goes up from the top of the key. Launches it. Sacramento again missing. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Doncic passes to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Great game for him. Double-double now. Boy, there is an artistry and a feel to Luka Doncic's game. This guy is elite with his playmaking. Now here's Barnes to the inside. Here's Sabonis. Uneasy, too, on the layup. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Mavericks trailing. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. Doncic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Kleba outside. Doncic against Davis. The three ball. And Doncic with the three. Doncic has got 28 points for the game. Now, Luka Doncic is not shy. He trusts his range shooting, and you can see why. Davis, the pass to Monk. Back to Davis. Holmes, a screen on Doncic. Davis. Another shot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Man, the defender really went after him. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Kings. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. And the first one at the line is good. The Mavericks making a switch here. Hardaway's checked in. Both free throws good from Holmes. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. The Mavericks have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Doncic passes to McGee. Davis against Doncic. Banked it in off the glass. Doncic has got 30. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. It's a bonus. The pass to Davis. Count it. Good. Yeah, just a tremendous find by Domantas Sabonis. This guy plays the game the right way. Dallas has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Now here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. And Holmes pulls it down. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Monk passes to Davis. Back to Monk. Six to shoot. Picked by Sabonis. And the basket by Monk. And it's a seven-point Sacramento lead. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. And here's Hardaway. Doncic outside. Beyond the arc. And the Mavericks, another three. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. It's Monk on the wing. Driving in. The layup misses. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. 
Pass to McGee. Here's Bullock. He's guarded by Barnes. It's stolen by Barnes. Out to the wing. Three-pointer, Holmes. Got a piece of it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holmes. All right, here's a look at the schedule for the Dallas Mavericks. On Monday, they'll be matching up against Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Then on Wednesday, they'll be taking on Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. And for that game against the Lakers, anything can happen in the NBA. But they'll be a heavy favorite, and it would take a total meltdown for them to lose. Doncic, no good. The Kings leading to the paint. Here's Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. I like the aggressiveness of Barnes. A much better player when he's attacking. Hard away with it. Inside. And Holmes pulls it down. Holmes has got nine rebounds now. Outside Barnes. Pass to Monk. It's stolen by Doncic. And here's Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Outside Hardaway. Clock at six. And that one's long. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Outside Davis. Pass to Sabonis. Up and over Hardaway. Sabonis can't hit. For Dallas, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Doncic against Davis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. You can see Luka Doncic has the body, the handle, the footwork, and the savvy to draw fouls. That is nicely done. Good from Doncic. Murray's checked in for the Kings. Mitchell comes in for Davis. No good on the second free throw. Sacramento has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Mitchell. To the middle. It's stolen by Doncic. Down low. And there's McGee. That one's good. On the assist from Doncic. Doncic has got assist number eight now on the night. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. And, you know, a close game, you got to find that edge. High-energy plays like that one can make a big difference. Now here's Mitchell. Outside Barnes. To the middle. Here's Sabonis. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on JaVale McGee. And if you're Sabonis' teammate, you love this. They know he's ready to come through at the strike. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Uh, Sabonis collegiately and now in his professional career has faced these tough moments before. Can you make free throws? So he gets them both. 
And it's a five-point game. Great job at the line, and it's now a two-possession game. Doncic against Mitchell. Steps back. Now here's Doncic. Tight defense on him. Hardaway against Monk. Hardaway, no good. Simply put, a bad shot, guys. They all know they can get a better look than that. To the inside, McGee with a steal. Doncic outside. Pass to McGee. Hardaway with it. Monk with a steal. One minute left to play in the fourth. Then he gets off the floor in a flash. Murray can elevate off one foot or two. It's easy for him to convert on lobs. Now here's Doncic. Three-pointer off the mark. Doncic against Mitchell. Pass to Sabonis. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Two points. That one goes. And now it's a nine-point Kings lead. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And Dallas calls time here. They're trailing by nine. 36 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Not much time left. You think they have a chance to come back? here for the Kings. Lenz checked in for Sabonis. Metu comes in for Barnes. And it's Davis in for Monk. Davis over Doncic. Davis can't hit. And you never want to say never, but in this case, yeah, at this point, I don't even know if divine intervention could turn this around. Yeah, great work on defense right there. Shooters have to be careful when Murray is lurking nearby. Outside Davis. The Kings win it. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. I'm here with DeMontis. DeMontis, a great team win against a quality opponent, too. What does this say about how you're playing? It's great for us, building our confidence as a team. Um, sticking together, I feel like we play better consistently, so um, it's, it's good for us. Confidence, extremely important. Thanks, DeMontis. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA as New Balance presents our player of the game, Damanis Sabonis.